have a really cool travel gig that I'm about to prepare for. Got like a bunch of stuff set up so I can show you how I pack for travel gigs. Just got this really cool new light from Aperture, the Nova 300. So awesome. So let me just start out by saying that I absolutely hate traveling with equipment. I hate traveling for work in general. I'd much rather be traveling for leisure, but it's, we're in a pandemic, so. I just got this giant new boom pole. My old one broke. This one's way bigger, has way more reach. I'm so excited to be trying this out for the first time. So I've traveled quite a bit for work, been all around Asia, been all around Africa, all over Europe, the United States, whatever. And so what I've learned through all those journeys is that I wanna bring as little stuff as I possibly can when I'm traveling for shoots, like bare minimum stuff. Shoot that I'm going to is something small for Polar Pro. Uh, it's like a running gun, like adventure style shoot. So I wanna be light when I'm shooting. So obviously I'm gonna try and pack as light as I possibly can for this. It's super short, it's a two day shoot on the neighboring island, Oahu. So it's like the shortest flight I've ever been on. So I definitely wanna keep things as minimal as possible. So I'm pretty much already packed up. And when I'm flying and traveling, if I can avoid checking a bag, 100,000% going to try it. So what I'm usually gonna bring is a backpack, a camera bag, and uh, my handy dandy Pelican case, both tan, desert coloring, doesn't matter what color. So a lot of times airlines might make you check uh, one of your carry-ons if they don't have enough room. So I'm going to put anything that I absolutely do not want checked in this bag. This bag is always gonna stay with me the entire time. And anything that has the possibility of maybe going under that airplane, maybe getting checked, maybe getting lost, and maybe just like totally jacking up my shoe is going to go in this case. So first rule of packing, you have to pack on your bed. Like most surface area, just like super comfy, just in case mid pack, you get a little bit sleepy. So my camera pack, um, this is actually a new one. This is from a company called Companion. Uh, and this is their Element uh, backpack. And I'm so glad that they sent this. It fits so much stuff. Like it fits all my cinema cameras, fits my lenses, clothes, shoes, all in one pack. And when you put it on, like it's so supportive. It looks cool too. It's like a perfect color, especially cause I wear black a lot. It's super comfy, even though it weighs like a thousand pounds right now. Like I'm not having any trouble. So let's go inside of it. I'm gonna open up from the back here. So right now I don't have any of my cameras in here cause I need cameras to film this video. This is what it looks like when I get my C200, my cinema camera in here. This pocket is gonna be for my, my EOS R, my little vlogging camera, just so I can vlog at the airport and vlog the trip and make some BTS videos for you all. The C200 will go here and all of its accessories will fit in here as well with it. I get a headlamp because we're doing a lot of adventurous stuff and if we go on a hike and we're out late and it gets dark. C200 batteries, got batteries for my EOS R. Then in this pocket, I have two little apertures MCs, I think they're called MCs, right? These are just like awesome lights, super portable, bring them anywhere. They run off of battery power. How oh, I turn it on? It's gotta be an on switch somewhere. There it is. So if I'm doing a run and gun scene and I just need a little bit of light, a little bit of kicker, these are just like the perfect lights for those kind of things. If I was doing a shoot where I needed to bring a bigger light, I would obviously pack it in a bigger case and have to check that. The cases that I use the pack lights are usually Nano 960s, I think they're called. There they are, right there, if you can see them. It, like, it's the worst when you have to bring lights and you have to pack a stand and you have to pack like a soft box and you know, you just like get overwhelmed with gear so much faster when you need to bring a light. This shoot's gonna be running gun, like I said. Gonna be using mostly available light, uh, what's around me and just get creative at, if we're shooting a night scene with some practicals. These are like my favorite kind of shoots where it's just like kind of one man banding, running around, doing adventure stuff, filming really awesome people. Gonna be meeting up with these two, uh, this couple, this married couple, Bryce Miller and Haley Miller. But yeah, essentially what the shoot is, they're gonna be running around, living it up a beautiful adventure with this new Polar Pro product for mobile photography, mobile video creating, 
on like an iPhone or whatever phone. So just being able to be nimble and quick and light with everything is just gonna allow us to get more scenes and capture more moments and just have more fun along the way. I don't know why my my thigh has suddenly risen into the frame. Can you see Sansa? The see her back there? So cute. Media, audio cords, XLR cables, more batteries, batteries for the drone. The drone is not going to go in this bag. I have like a super old drone. I have like the original Mavic. And I don't even know if I'm gonna necessarily use it for this shoot, but I'm bringing it just in case. So that's gonna go into potentially checked. Bag. Drone batteries will go in here because obviously uh, if this bag happens to get checked, uh, you can't have lithium ion batteries in there. So, so all the batteries come with me in the, the actual vessel. I don't know, what, I don't coach compartment. Got my laptop that's like seven or eight years old now. This does zero editing or anything. This is literally only to uh, transport files from my card uh, to my hard drive. So this just works as a middleman to, to get those files over at this point. Just got like a miscellaneous charging cord here. Don't know what that's for. Then I also have a little pack that came with this backpack uh, from Companion and all my toiletries will go in here. Or it also doubles as like a little pack that I can carry around if I don't feel like carrying around a, a full backpack with me. Put like batteries, memory card, bunch of little stuff in here and not have to worry about intense back sweat. So we'll close this bad boy up. On the side here, we have my travel tripod and it's expensive, the Peak Design one. But the reason I love it so much is that even though it's super small, and super tiny and can just fit on the side of the backpack. It is so strong. Like this thing can hold my fully built out cinema camera without any problems. I never have to worry about it tipping over or collapsing or anything. So this is like the best tripod ever, honestly. Like look how small this thing is. It's amazing. Whenever I travel and I'm taking care of the media myself, I always like to have two hard drives. I'll dump uh, everything on the one hard drive and then I'll duplicate everything onto another drive and I'll keep one of these in this backpack and I'll keep one of these uh, in my Pelican case just in case anything were to happen. I have two copies or something got separated, something got lost, I always have a backup. And here I got my CFast card reader from my CFast uh, media that comes out of the Canon C200, which I'm obviously gonna be shooting this whole thing on. This like little multi-tool thing from Small Rig is so clutch. It's got like the perfect flathead for screwing on like tripod plates and stuff. And it's also like, I feel like it's safe to bring on an airplane. Like it doesn't have a knife or anything. I've definitely like left knives in my backpack going through security before and it's not fun. And then up top here, you got this like little magnet thing. And inside this little pouch is just like all my clothes and stuff. Uh, athletic shoes in case we go hiking. This is, this, this is like a more adventure thing. I have this like little plastic bag that like, uh, clothes I ordered came in one time, but like any dirty, like s super dirty, like dirty underwear or like soiled socks will go in this like little Ziploc thing. I don't know, I hate like putting dirty clothes just like into my raw backpack. When I'm traveling for shoots, there's one thing I do not pack a lot of is clothes. I'll literally bring like one outfit to wear the entire time. Everything is so filled up already with camera equipment. There's just not enough room like ever for my clothes but I feel like most people don't care like if you wear the same thing every day. Like, honestly, I wear the same thing every day regardless. So, so next up, it's the handy dandy Pelican. 50% of the time, like a flight attendant will make me check this because of either the weight or because they don't have enough overhead compartment room to, to put this. So I always make sure I bring like a little TSA safe lock to put on this bad boy and also big recommendation, these things like look sketchy to everyone in the airport. So what definitely helps is to put like little stickers all over it, just make it look a little more inviting for people. Got my Jurassic Park sticker. I'm a huge Jurassic Park fan. Open her up. This is all stuff pretty much that I don't really need for the shoot, but I want to have it just in case. Uh, like I said, I talked about the drone that just like never dies old remote, the original Mavic. This thing has been through literally warfare. Call him Rick. So I'm gonna shoot most of this on my 18 to 35 Sigma that's on 
the camera filming right now, but I'm also gonna bring my handy dandy 24 to 70. Never know if you want some tights, but uh, for this particular piece, whenever it's like a narrative almost type bit, uh, I try to shoot wider. Uh, just because I like to show a lot of environment, especially in a place like Oahu. Like, the environment is such a beautiful character. I want to, like, really uh, get a lot of that into our footage. This thing is just, like, this old, weird leather filter case. Like, I don't even know why I have, like, this, like, gross thing. What? I don't even know where this came from. But in case I want to, like, soften things up, I have, like, black promos, UV filters. If you watch my channel, you know I'm a huge gaff tape guy. Like, if you're not careful, you might end up with gaff tape just all over you being around a guy like me. I've done videos on this before. It's like a little waterproof case for a little DSLR camera. So I'll put my uh, Canon ESR that's filming the top-down angle into this bad boy, get a couple water shots if the, the moment feels right for it. This isn't something that you want to like submerge super deep, but it does work really well on like surface uh, level waves and like splashing around and those kind of things. Got that backup hard drive that I talked about in a little Amazon Basics case a vlog handle that I invented myself. Super sturdy. And just like these upper pockets, it's just like a microfiber cloth that I'll never use. I'll probably just like in the moment end up using my shirt, which is not what you should be doing. That's really it, that's all I'm bringing. Like I don't wanna bring anything else more than that. I don't wanna overcomplicate things for myself, especially because I might be doing this shit alone. I might have a PA or like someone to help, but in the case that I don't, I just wanna make sure that like everything's manageable just for myself. Most shoots I do, most like smaller shoots, this is how I pack for travel gigs. It definitely helps to have a huge backpack like this that can fit your cinema camera, can fit your water, your tripod, clothes, just so much stuff. It just like takes so much of the weight of having to bring a bigger bag of checked bag. Like you never know with airlines, like they don't care about your stuff. I don't know why I'm putting it on. I gotta put my camera in there, but I think I look so cool with it on. It's like the first backpack I've ever had that I'm like, this looks, makes me look cool. I'll see you next time. I love you. Bye. Oh,